Tori and Gabriella are a match made in heaven, but that doesn't make long distance dating any easier. Can these high school sweethearts make it to the finish line, or will life get in the way? Keep watching to find out if the lovebirds stay together after graduation. Listen, babe, I wouldn't sing with you if my hair was on fire and you were the last bucket of water on earth. <sighs> How Things Left Off You don't get to choose who you fall in love with, and sometimes relationships can put a damper on your life plans. This is a reality that Gabriella knows all too well. Despite being in love with Troy and wanting to spend her life with him, Gabriella had dreams before she met him, and throwing them out the window for a boy just wasn't her style. So, she chose to break things off with Troy and attend the Stanford Freshman Honor Program. But something about her decision just didn't feel right. By the end of high High School Musical 3 senior year, many of us were scared that Troy and Gabriella wouldn't be together, but luckily, true love prevailed. However, before love could run its course, Gabriella called Troy to inform him that she would not be coming home for graduation or prom. This sad phone call was almost too much for Troy to bear. So he let his inner romantic come out and went to Stanford University to bring her back to Albuquerque. By the end of the film, Troy and Gabriella realized that breaking up isn't the solution. Do you think that these two high school sweethearts managed to stay together? Let's go and find out. College Relationship Transitioning to college from high school isn't easy, especially when most of your friends are attending different schools. But just because two people attend different colleges doesn't mean they'll stop talking overnight. Gabriella always knew that she wanted to go to Stanford University, but her plans began to change when she started falling for Troy. But being the level-headed woman that she is, she chose to pursue her academic goals. Troy, on the other hand, was never as determined as Gabriella. So making his own decisions didn't come easy. Troy spent most of his life letting other people call the shots, but meeting Gabriella changed the way he saw things. So when it came to apply to colleges, Troy finally made a choice for himself. For the longest time, Troy's dad didn't take his love for theater seriously, so he continuously tried to enroll Troy in the University of Arizona where he could focus on his basketball career. But Troy wanted to attend Berkeley where he could pursue both of his passions. And on a plus note, Berkeley was only 32.7 miles away from Stanford. So as far as college relationships go, Troy and Gabriella had a pretty good chance at making it. After all, they only lived over an hour away from each other, so they could easily have seen each other on the weekends to keep their relationship alive. On again, off again, Troy and Gabriella were just kids when they met, so it's not too surprising that they broke up and got back together a couple of times. But could this pattern have followed them to college? We're inclined to think so. Juggling a long-distance relationship, classes, assignments, jobs, and studying isn't an easy thing to do, so we're pretty certain that Troy and Gabriella would have broken up midway through their freshman year. Despite wanting to be together, the lovebirds are very different people. Gabriella wants to become a lawyer, and let's face it, becoming a lawyer isn't easy and requires a lot of studying. So we would expect Gabriella's stress levels to be at an all-time high. But when it comes to Troy, he's more laid back and social. So on top of that, Troy is pursuing basketball and theater. So he'd probably want his girlfriend to watch his games and shows. But Gabriella is a busy lady who puts her career before all else. With this in mind, we imagine that Gabriella and Troy's schedules would be too hectic to handle, causing a rift in their relationship. But since they love each other more than anything, they probably got back together over the summer, only to break up all over again. We're twins. They're gonna have to take us both. <laughs> Soul searching. All anybody wants is to be seen for who they really are. Unless you're Tiara, of course. But let's face it, she isn't the nicest girl in town. In fact, some might even say that she makes Sharpay look like a saint. But let's forget about her and focus on Troy and Gabriella. These two lovers see each other for who they are, and they encourage each other to be the best versions of themselves. Without Troy, Gabriella would be an overly shy girl who doesn't stand up for what she believes in, and Troy would be a professional athlete filled with regret. But in the end, everyone needs to do some soul searching of their own. So after breaking up in college, we suspect that Troy and Gabriella will be in dire need of some soul searching. So perhaps they will do some traveling to clear their heads. But a clear mind doesn't bypass a heavy heart. So their soul searching could have brought them back together once again. The break. Anyone who's seen friends knows that going on a break isn't always the best solution. But sometimes going on a break is better than breaking up. 
up. With school and work pulling in at full speed, we imagine that Gabriella will start turning into a brand new person. At this point, she might be interning at a prestigious firm and overworking herself, and Troy could be getting drafted into the NBA. With little time to dedicate to each other, Troy and Gabriella might agree to go on a break. And sadly, this could lead to a huge fight. Most of the time, being on a break means that you're allowed to see other people. So we suspect that Troy will start seeing someone else despite still being in love with Gabriella. So imagine this, Gabriella finally gets some time off work and goes to Berkeley to surprise Troy during one of his games. But when she gets there, she sees a certain cheerleader hanging off Troy's arm and leaves. This would be more than enough to break up the couple, but the story doesn't end here. So keep watching. Seeing other people After officially breaking up with Troy, Gabriella starts to get close to one of her co-workers. At first, she does this to get even with Troy, but she ends up genuinely liking her new love interest. Troy, on the other hand, has broken things off with whoever he was seeing, but his efforts weren't enough to win Gabriella back. At this point, Gabriella starts applying to law school and decides to apply to Harvard. She gets accepted and breaks things off with her new boyfriend. Meanwhile, Troy is seeing a handful of girls, but none of them compare to Gabriella. So, in a desperate attempt to get her back, Troy shows up in her dorm room. And he soon finds out that Gabriella is leaving for good. He begs her to stay, but she says that she can't. So, Troy lets her go. Golly gee, how adorable. Troy's future. Troy was offered a basketball scholarship at Berkeley, where he played college ball until he was drafted into the NBA. Troy played professional basketball for two years before realizing that there was something missing in his life. So, he went back to school to complete his theater degree. After graduating, Troy moved back to Albuquerque and became East High's new drama teacher. But he didn't stop there. Wanting to pursue both his passions, Troy also became the coach of the basketball team. Despite dating a few girls here and there, Troy hasn't committed to any long-term relationships. And his constant dating has given him a bad reputation. But this doesn't stop him from becoming one of the best teachers East High has ever seen. Troy and ends up buying a house in his hometown and offers to plan his grade's 10-year reunion. Troy's life is going as planned and he's happy, but there's something or someone who could take his happiness to the next level. Gabriella's future. Gabriella is exceptionally bright, so much so that her teachers don't know what to do with her. A fan named Ava Wilford wrote an article about where she thought the high school musical cast would be in 10 years, and we have to say that we agree with her for the most part. She believes that Gabriella will end up graduating from Harvard and practicing law in Cambridge. But here's where our prediction differs. At this point, we think that Gabriella will be engaged and planning a wedding. However, she'll keep her engagement to herself during the rare moments she talks to Troy on the phone. And she'll opt against telling her fiancé about Troy, which is pretty suspicious. Gabriella graduates at the top of her class and becomes one of the best lawyers in town. Despite having a perfect life, Gabriella finds herself dreaming about the past. So when she gets a 10-year high school reunion letter in the mail, she immediately books a flight to Albuquerque. The high school sweethearts are about to meet face to face. Problem is, Gabriella has a big fat ring on her finger, and Troy's sure to spot it from a mile away. High School Reunion Are we the only ones who wish that the original High School Musical cast would have returned for one last movie? Probably not. But can you imagine how amazing it would be to see Troy and Gabriella fall in love all over again. A diehard fan named HSM YouTube took it upon himself to create a teaser trailer for the grand reunion. This trailer shows Troy and Gabriella living separate lives, but it gives us the impression that the ex-lovers are going to get back together again. So to continue where we left off, Troy and Gabriella come face to face during the reunion and burst into song. They share a magical night together, and by the end of it, Gabriella confesses to being engaged. The news hits Troy like a ton of bricks, and Gabriella returns to her fiancé the following day. But she soon realizes that Troy is her soulmate. And breaks off the engagement. 
I wouldn't sing with you if I was starving and you were the last pickle at the picnic. Together again. After breaking up with her fiancé, Gabriela quits her job and moves back to New Mexico. She rents an apartment and takes a job at a local firm. Once she's all settled in, she surprises Troy during a Wildcats game and confesses her love for him. Troy is over the moon and his reputation for being a heartbreaker finally comes to an end. Troy asks Gabriela to marry him by the end of the year and she moves into his house. Gabriella decides to open up her own practice and becomes a highly respected lawyer. She does plenty of pro bono cases and is finally doing what she loves. The happy couple invites all of their old friends to the wedding and they sing and dance all night long. After a few years, Gabriella gets pregnant and gives birth to a beautiful baby girl. And a few years after that, the couple welcomes a baby boy to the family. Troy and Gabriella are finally living the life they always wanted. The final chapter, life is good for the high school musical sweethearts and we're happy to hear it. By now, we imagine that Troy and Gabriella are focused on raising their family and accomplishing their dreams. So while we won't be seeing any of the original cast in High School Musical 4, we're happy knowing that things worked out between our favorite couple. Although they had a rocky start, it's nice to know that these two soulmates ended up together. It's been 13 years since Troy and Gabriella graduated from East High, and it looks like it's time for a new cast to take over the franchise. Unfortunately, we won't get to see Troy coaching the Wildcats, but that's probably because the new male lead will be interested in soccer and not basketball. So what did you guys think about this happily ever after? Would you have done things differently? Let us know what you think really happened to Troy and Gabriella in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more High School Musical videos to come your way. Thanks for watching and see you next time on The Things.